Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here. I have too many horns. It's an addiction that I'm trying to remedy. In fact, if you look down there or else down there, in the comments, there'll be a link to an area where I've got some horns for sale. Not sure if it'll be the same ones you're seeing in this video. I price them so well, they just, they're like hot cakes off the griddle. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little humor. Uh, it's also never too early for a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, just think of the hours you could spend watching the nearly 300 videos that I have up at YouTube, mostly about horns. I've got four here today I'm going to look at. The first is going to be a King Master Cornet. One of the things I really like about this is the micro tuner here. It's a little knob that enables you to uh, just microscopically enlarge the distance from your tuning slide. Very, very nice feature. I wish more horns did this today. Uh, this particular horn is from 64, almost perfect, almost perfect. It's got a ding here, and I just noticed it's got a second kind of a flat spot right here. Lacquer, perfect. Um, in fact, I don't even think the valves are broken in. And it's what, 64, oh, 40, almost 60 years old, about uh, 58 years old. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going to play this with a Reeves 41M. And in uh, fact, I'm going to play my trumpets with the same thing because my friends at GR have got a wonderful uh, adapter that makes a cornet mouthpiece usable for a trumpet. Can you beat that? Okay, just going to tootle around a little bit on an old number. Uh, King Master Cornet from 64. For years, I've uh, played trumpet almost ex exclusively, and uh, just just do not um, haven't played a lot of cornets. But boy, I'll tell you, as I get older, I think I'm going to. A friend of mine that used to play years ago, Pastor Robert Sabin, up in Minneapolis, he saw me admiring one of his cornets one time, and he said, "Oh, you like the little pea shooter, huh?" <laughs> Beautiful shilky that he had. Okay, this is another cornet. This one is from 58. It is a Constellation 28A. Really, it should be grouped with trumpets. In fact, it's longer than either the Con Vintage one or the Shire's Q trumpet that I'll be playing next, but it does take a cornet mouthpiece. They say it's getting hard to find these because a lot of guys have had the uh, lead pipe taken off the receiver and actually had a mouthpiece for, uh, excuse me, a trumpet receiver put on so they could use it. This is, I heard Trent Austin say years ago, and it was a long time before I got one, he said this has got to be the most mouthpiece sensitive instrument that he's ever played, and I would agree. Um, it could be that same song. It's what's so interesting is, of course, the cornet is a conical instrument, uh, more so than the trumpet. You begin with a very small uh, receiver, lead pipe, and then it grows steadily large until with this one, you wind up with a five and a quarter inch bell. Uh, magnificent um, work on this trumpet. Of course, you've got the third slide pole, and as you had with most of the constellations, you've got the first slide trigger. Not usually real crazy about them, but um, just very little about this horn. 
to dislike. In fact, I had one a few uh, months ago and I sold it to a friend and I missed it so much, I got another one. <laughs> but I just bought four vintage Olds trumpets and um, some things are gonna have to go. So anyway, Con 28A from 58. I tell you, the thing about vintage horns is they're not making any more Kingmaster cornets. Not from 64, not the way they made them then, and they're certainly not making any more constellations from 58. I will say this though, Adams has an A, I believe it's an A6. Uh, they've remade to their version the constellation, and it is a pretty wonderful horn really is. Okay, gonna go next to, <laughs> let me put on my trustworthy GR cornet to trumpet adapter and uh, gonna play the Shire's Q, a remarkably sweet recording instrument, very much in the um, uh, mindset, uh, the thought process, the sound of a Strad. I believe this Q would be uh, somewhat similar to the uh, venerable Stradivarius 37 bell. Wonderful instrument. Wonderful instrument. All right, the last one today is another horn that I really admire. It's the Con Vintage One. I think Con Selmer put so much into this. Look at the wide spacing you've got on your first uh, valve slide. They just, they were very, very thoughtful. Love the finger rings, especially the uh, first slide when it's just so large. This particular uh, Vintage One has got a uh, sterling silver bell and it's gold plated. Beautiful, beautiful horn. Short valve throw. Now I'm going to, I'm going to let this one go one of these days, but I would like to have a vintage one sometime with a yellow brass bell. I just, uh, I prefer yellow brass myself, but what a clear sound. I think you'll notice uh, with this sterling silver bell, what a clear carrying sound. Going to have to back away from the mic.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Just been a while since I had a mix of cornets and trumpets to fiddle with, but uh, always nice to pull them out, brush the dust off, oil them up, and take them for a ride. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.